Hi guys, welcome to the lecture on date and time in SQL. Date and time values are stored in the database in special formats so that they may be sorted or filtered quickly and efficiently. As well as this also saves a lot of physical storage space. This format used to store date and time in the database is of no use to our applications. That's why date and time functions in SQL play an important role to um, to work with dates in SQL. In MySQL, we have functions like now, as you saw in the last lecture, current date, current time, and things like that. So now let's look at these functions in much more detail. So let's look at the function now. Select, select now, press enter. This will give us the current date and time. As you can see, this is the date here. And this is the time here. What if we just want the current date? There is a function for that too. Select cur date. As the name implies, cur means current date. Semicolon enter. So as you can see, we have the current date now. What if we want the current time? So for that, we have select cur time. Press on. Let's select wrong. Let's fix that. There you go. You have the current time now. What if we want to extract some of the data from our current date? So how do we do that? Um, so we have a function called extract in SQL. And let's look at the syntax, the grammar of that function. Let's go to W3 schools here. I have this thing open in my other tab. And as you can see, in the SQL date section, we have this extract function here. It says it returns a single part of date and time. So let's see the syntax of that by clicking it. Syntax extract unit from date. So it, the unit may be seconds, minutes, hours, days, week, year from the date. So as we, all, as we already know, we can extract date using now function. So how can we extract year from that now function? Let's see that in our command line. Let's go back to our command line and let's see. Let's use this extract function here. Select mm, extract year from the now function. The now function will give us the current date and time. Let's press enter. Awesome. As you can see, we use the extract function to extract year from the date and time, and we got the year here. Pretty simple. We have one more function in, in MySQL, which will actually directly give us the year from the from the date. So we there is a function called year. It looks like this. Let's use this function now. Select year. From the now function and there you go we have year now so there are multiple ways of doing the same thing so now the question is how would you use these date functions on the table data and this is how we will do that select let's output the orders table first select star from orders as you can see in orders table, we have three columns and the second column is the order date column. Date is here, time is here. So let's use these date functions on this table. Let's use the year function that we just looked. Select order. Oops. It's a lowercase order number from from our table where we will use the year function as I said year and order day equals retail. Press enter. And as you can see, um, we use the year function, the year function here in the SQL statement, and this actually gave us all the order numbers for the year 2012. 
So that's pretty much it guys as far as data and time functions are concerned. Uh, I'll see you in the next lecture.